Good morning, everybody. I hope that you're doing well. I wanted to, first of all, let you know that we're using a microphone today. Uh, as you know, this is our third video, so we are still testing technology. If there's technology that you think that we could add to make this experience better for our viewers, please let us know in the comments, and uh, we would love to take note of that. Uh, there are a few things that we're looking to add already, um, and so as far as backgrounds and uh, different things here on the table, maybe there's something you'd like to see on the table, let me know. Uh, so for today, I wanted to give you a little update report on what things are going on as far as the Hawks family team, uh, particularly with one of our clients to use this. Now I'm going to start working uh, with these clients in story as we go through a transaction process and what does a transaction look like right now as a buyer. So I've been working with these buyers and uh, they are pre-approved uh, and they have a wonderful lender that they have been working with. It was great because whenever I started working with this client who was a referral to me, uh, they said the lender that they were working with. And it was so exciting to me because guess what? I knew the lender that they were working with. And as I was on the phone with them, I was texting their lender who I have a personal relationship with saying, hey, I'm going to be working with these folks as a realtor. Let me know anything that you see. I'll let you know that anything that I see. And, and we start forming a perfect team on the front end to give the client a perfect or a as perfect of an experience as we can because that is our goal. We want you guys to have a great experience and to end up with a wonderful investment, especially you know as a first time home buyer that's going to be a great treasure for your family for many years. So uh, we were looking at properties uh, the other day and I had a conversation with my buyer and, and he started it like this. He said, here's what I want to do, Spencer. Here's kind of what I imagine this process looking like. He said, I want to look at properties today and I'm going to find the best of three. And then in a week or so, when we go look at some other properties, I'm going to find the best of three. And then maybe in a week after that, I'm going to find the best of three. And then I'm going to pick out of those three, which one I like the most. Now, folks, here's the issue with that. When I went back and I looked at the comps, you look at the price, but you also need to look at the market exposure of the homes. And, you know, while it is better for buyers and sellers are negotiating at this point, uh, the market exposure is still like 9 to 15 days. So when you start adding up those weeks and you get to like three weeks, that's 21 days, that's well beyond any market exposure that those houses typically have in that area if they're, if they're priced averagely or correct somewhere in there. And so I had to tell the buyer, I said, you know, that would be awesome, but I don't think that that's a reality because if you really like this first home, by the time you get to week three, because this home has already had some market exposure, it is probably going to have found its buyer. So, you know, I, I had to have an honest conversation with him at that point. I said, you know, but what's really cool is, as opposed to like a year ago, where like we ran in, ran out, and it was like crazy, and our hair is on fire, and we're like, okay, we're going to submit an offer that's like $15,000 over what appraisal is. And, you know, we're just going crazy. We were like that night still having a conversation about it. Even like uh, the next morning, having a conversation about it. Like, where do we want to go in at? Do you want some closing costs taken care of? You know, because we know that this seller is going to negotiate a little bit. Um, and so... You know, it's been really interesting working with some first-time home buyers in this process as we're getting into a market that is starting to regulate a little bit. Folks, if, if you're a buyer, do know that you're not going to have forever to make a move on these houses because there is a shortage of inventory still. If you're a seller, know that, yeah, you're probably going to sit on the market a little bit. You know, you're not going to have 15 offers the first day. You might. Not saying you won't. There are some abnormalities in life, but average house on the market now is going to set a few days and there will be some negotiation. That said, the next few segments, I'm going to take you through what this process is going to look like uh, with these buyers.
What else is going on in uh, and with the Hawks family team? We do have some listings coming up uh, around uh, the state of Arkansas, which I look forward to talking to you with. Some of them are commercial listings, some of them are land listings, uh, and uh, some of them are recreational. So I'll give you more information as those come in and we actually have those listings. Um, and then lastly, for anybody, I am looking for land on the west side of Greer's Ferry Lake. I have a buyer. So if anybody has land on the west side of Greer's Ferry Lake that has access to a boat dock or a slip, please let me know. If not, that could be okay too. But I have somebody that would like to build a home on the lake. So uh, please reach out to me. That's Greer's Ferry Lake um, in Arkansas. Uh, guys, it's a great market. Wonderful time to get in. Always, always, always find professionals, build relationships uh, that make a difference. And I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.